ask your analytics, what percentage of visitors who go to your contact page are actually filling out and submitting that contact form? The answer to this question is in the conversion reports under funnel visualization. As long as your goals are set up properly, you can see the total number of people who went to the contact page and actually what percentage of people completed that form making it to the thank you page becoming a lead. If people didn't complete the form, where did they go? On this site, we can see that about 14% of visitors who go to the contact page actually filled out and submitted the form becoming a lead. Let's look at the page and consider some possible changes. Conventional wisdom is that forms with more fields have a lower percentage of people who complete them. Forms with fewer fields, a greater percentage of people will complete them. Regardless, before making any changes to any form, it's important to make sure we understand what percentage of people are currently completing the form. It's also useful to understand that contact pages have more than just forms. There's address information, there's phone numbers, there's other information on these pages that may answer other questions that are useful to visitors, so we should never expect 100% of visitors to a contact page to complete the form. But still, before making any changes to any form on the contact page or any other page, it's important to set a benchmark and look at the current status of conversion rates using our Google Analytics. If you've got a question about the conversion rate of any form on your site, start by asking your analytics.